I'm going to show you how to set up the API integration between uh, WC AutoShip PayPal Express integration and your actual PayPal uh, merchant account. If you have a PayPal business account, this is going to work the same way for you uh, no matter what PayPal module you are using, but we specifically create this integration for PayPal Express. So uh, once you have the plugin installed, which you can really uh, quickly do by downloading it from our website and then uploading that plugin zip file here in the back end of your WordPress uh, WooCommerce store um, and activating that plugin and then you should actually see it um, in your installed plugins list like this one here WC AutoShip PayPal Payments by Patterns in the Cloud okay when that is active what you should be able to do is go to WooCommerce and view your settings okay um, and then to your checkout tab. Okay, on your checkout tab, uh, you should see that PayPal by WC underscore AutoShip underscore PayPal is the gateway ID um, enabled, and then you can adjust your settings here. Uh, notice that it is different than the standard PayPal that comes with WooCommerce. So you want to make sure that you're setting up the WC AutoShip PayPal integration and not WooCommerce's PayPal integration. So you can either click settings over here to the right to get started or find it at the tabs on the top and click on WC AutoShip uh, PayPal Payments. When you're on the WC AutoShip PayPal Payments Setup tab, um, you should go ahead and enable the gateway. Okay, and then uh, this will be here by default. It's called PayPal. That's what it's going to display during checkout is the payment method in case you have other payment methods set up that can be helpful to title it uh, to make sure people know what they're using. And then you have these fields here that need to be filled out. User, password, signature, um, and then you have the sandbox mode option which we strongly suggest you go ahead and test out uh, before you take your integration live and actually receive uh, actual payments. So I'm going to show you where to get these fields from your PayPal merchant account. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is over to the PayPal site and whatever your uh, merchant account login for PayPal is, if you don't have one, uh, get in touch with PayPal or use their website to create a business account with PayPal so that your login does go to the merchant account. And you want to use that login up here to log into your merchant account. So I'm going to log in with uh, my demonstration one right here. Okay, when you're logged in, uh, you should see a, a profile landing page somewhat like this. Um, there is a newer interface that looks slightly different. The links are pretty much the same, so I'm going to demonstrate this on the classic interface. If you need uh, any clarification, definitely see the screenshots in the documentation and setup on the uh, website for wootwatership.com. Okay, so from here, it's pretty simple. You know, you just find this profile tab, okay? Uh, scroll down to My Selling Tools and you're going to want to click on My Selling Tools. Okay, and from this page, um, from My Selling Tools, you're going to want to find the row called API Access, Manage API Credentials to Integrate PayPal Account with My Online Store Shopping Cart. You want to click on the Update. Okay, that's going to take you to these two options. You can pretty much ignore the first options uh, and go right to option two, view API signature. Okay, I want you to click on view API signature. And this is going to take you to really what we're after, which is this API username, password, and signature. I think the easiest thing to do is to bring up your um, WordPress site and just kind of bring it up kind of side by side by making it a little skinnier uh, just so it's easy to kind of copy back and forth between these two areas so um, you know, kind of minimize that a little bit and start copying these fields directly so API username that's going to go in this user field right here you can pull this out a little bit to see a little better the API password, right? And these are just demo uh, for us. So you're going to want to use your actual um, values. These are just demo values, not going to work for you. Uh, signature, 
if you want to copy the entire signature line and paste it in this password field here, or in the signature field here. Okay. Um, at this time, you can enable the sandbox mode. I highly recommend you do that before going live. Um, when you do go live, though, you are going to want to make sure this is unchecked and saved, and obviously this needs to remain checked. And go ahead and save those changes uh, to get started. Okay, and to verify, just go back to your WooCommerce checkout options, like this checkout tab right here, and just make sure you have the uh, PayPal WC underscore AutoShip underscore PayPal gateway enabled. Um, if it's your only gateway, you might as well make it the default gateway. Save your changes. And I will show you kind of the results on the checkout page on our demo site really quickly. Let me pull that up. So here we have a demo uh, site set up with a WC AutoShip enabled and PayPal Express Checkout integration for WC AutoShip enabled, um, just like we set up. Um, so on this theme uh, for WooCommerce, very basic WooCommerce theme, you can see on my checkout fields as I scroll down, I see my order details. Depending on your theme, this will look a little bit different, but you'll see now that there's a checkout with PayPal option. 